Welcome to the Homeschool Sanity Show. My name is Dr. Melanie Wilson, Christian psychologist turned homeschooling mother of six. I am here to help you achieve happier, healthier homeschooling. This week's topic is secrets of scheduling success. This is what every homeschool mom wants to know. How do I fit it all in? We'll talk about that in just a moment. But first, I wanted to share with you the teaching tip of the week. The teaching tip of the week is to talk with your kids about how to be a support to people who are grieving. During the podcast for this episode, I talked about the book, The Art of Helping by Lauren Lidauer Briggs. This is an excellent reference book for you to know how to offer specific help for circumstances that are challenging for people you love. The best thing to do with your kids, however, is to talk about those things that people have said or done for you when you have been grieving that have been helpful and those that have not been helpful. That way we can raise young men and women who can be loving ambassadors for Christ to people who are in the most difficult of circumstances. That's this week's teaching tip. Now for this week's topic, what are secrets of scheduling success? I discovered an object lesson that proved to be very powerful for myself and for homeschool bloggers who I shared this with at the two to one conference last year. And that is to imagine that you have 24 $1 bills that you can use to spend to create an ideal day. I created a worksheet for you to go along with the podcast exercise. And here it is. It lists all the various categories of our lives that we want to spend time on. And it can be very enlightening to go through this process and see how much time you really have left to work or maybe to start a blog or business. You might not have as much time as you think if you are giving the ideal amount of time to all these other categories. I did the same thing for our kids. Our kids can go through this process and determine how much time they want to be spending in each area of their lives and see how much time would be left over for individual screen time, for example. Once you have gone through this exercise, then you are ready to create a schedule using that information. What I like to do is to create an ideal schedule that is applicable for any day of the week, but also then to create an individual schedule for the day. This is a Panda Planner. This is the weekly version. I love it. I use it every day. And then I can create a detailed schedule for my day that will help me to get everything done that I want to get done. But here's the secret. If you've had the experience like I have where you create a schedule and then suddenly you resist it, you don't want to use it, you just want to spend your time on Facebook or Instagram, then this might work for you. Create your schedule and then put it away. If you want to follow it and you don't remember what you put on the schedule, open it back up and follow it. But if you feel like spending some time chatting on Facebook instead of what's on your schedule, don't feel guilty. The more guilt that we feel, the more likely we are to binge on activities that aren't a part of our ideal schedule. I hope that this tip is helpful to you. If you would like to get your free printables to do these exercises yourself and with your kids, you can text me at 44222. The word schedule help with no spaces. I apologize that the text to get your free printables last week did not work, but this will definitely work. You can also listen to